<laughs> Alrighty. If, if this falls, then... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saved the way to make. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm Maple Cook and I've got Thunderjack helping me again. He's on the camera. Thank you so much for helping me, Thunderjack. Yo, I got you, bro. And I hope you give me the chance to earn your subscription. And today's tuna has been given to me by Territory Seafoods. So thank you, Mike, and thank you, Kevin. So I'm gonna use tuna to make some sushi. Now, there's a problem with that. All right, guys. So uh, Maple Cook told me about a week ago that he was gonna make me a special roll that he's gonna name the Thunder Roll, specifically for his brother, Thunderjack, you know how it is. Um, so I'm, I've been, been pretty excited, anticipating this for a while now. And uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of sushi, so he decided to tailor it to my needs and throw some fried chicken in it. So your boy is pretty psyched right now. Oh yeah, baby, Popeye's chicken right here, the real thing. I'm making sushi vinegar right now, like you saw in my California roll video, but tonight's gonna be extra special because I'm making it for the neighbor and I'm making it for Thunderjack. Yo, I got you, bro. So it's gotta be extra special. I'm gonna make a sushi vinegar that cannot be purchased in any store, in any restaurant, because I'm using yuzu juice. And if you don't know what yuzu is, it's basically the king of citrus. It only grows in Japan and Korea, as far as I know. Champion of the world. Put that in. Yeah. Rice vinegar and sugar and salt, that's normal. And then now we've got the yuzu on there too. Koshi hikari, you will not get better than this. Your yuzu infused vinegar. Whoa, the smell coming off this, like a fist in a velvet glove, you know? It's just, what? Well, you know, it's like the, the fist is hard and a velvet glove is like. I didn't know that velvet gloves existed. Okay, well. If you made a glove out of velvet, it would be a velvet glove. Yeah, it would be, it would be pretty rough. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, that looks good. This is sushi rice, it's ready. And I'm gonna just put it under the fan for about 10 minutes till it's room temperature. And then it'll be ready to go. And because I want my neighbors and my buds to have that yuzu explosion in their mouth, I'm gonna make some yuzu mayonnaise now. We're gonna start with, or they call it yuja, the Japanese call it yuzu. I'm gonna use it just as a flavor. The yuzu juice. Got the fresh yuzu juice combined with the yuzu marmalade. You could use Japanese mayonnaise if you want to. You don't have to. I'm personally ambivalent. I will. Sorry, what? What was that word you just said? Okay. Okay. Wow. Just edit that out. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Use it infused man, a beautiful tuna loin. This is an albacore tuna caught off the coast of British Columbia. Provided to me by the guys at Territory Seafoods. Thank you again, Kevin and Mike. There are about six different species of tuna and they're delicious and they've got omega-3s and they're all good for you, but it is, as far as I know, the only tuna that doesn't have a root root problem. This is such high quality tuna. Pretty pleasing watching you oh, just, just chop it it's like so, that. so, you know, full of omega-3s and I love tuna. And it broke my heart that all the other kinds are full of mercury. So for me to find a kind of a tuna that I can just eat, that's not full of mercury, hey, I'm loving it. Sorry, that's the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Albacore tuna. Oh, damn. Japanese kimchi sauce. Siracha. Gomabura. Sorry, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gomabura. That's a uh, Japanese sesame seed oil. Okay. And this is shimi togarashi, which is Japanese seven, seven spice hot pepper stuff. Stuff. Yeah. And then you mix it. Seems really simple, but that's really what it is. Simplest thing. Oh. Does the. It smells so delicious already, man. Does the tuna not like get mushed up or nope. like. Wow. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. And this is the same, you know, pretty much the same spicy tuna you're gonna get in a sushi shop. Drive me crazy, I gotta have some. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is freaking amazing. Oh, oh, wow. That's 100. A, that is 100. That is 100. Mmm. Damn, son. 
with the choppity chop on the green onion stalks. Look at that, look at that scissor action with the knife. Scissor action, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Oh, okay. Oh, I busted. Like, it seriously hurts. Ow. Okay, we're gonna have <laughs> I to. I think I actually hit the hurt We're some. gonna have to take five, guys. <laughs> you know, when you're doing this at home, you don't have to be too precise with it. Whatever size you like is whatever size you like. Yeah, I, people, I feel that. People in the sushi shop, you get guys who are just like, no, they must be exactly two millimeters wide each. There you go. It's all sliced up, eh? Damn, son. Niggy! Octopus, or in Japanese, it's taco. We're just gonna slice her up. Except just to slice it. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And you'll see how I use this later. I'm gonna slice these really, really thin for a specific reason that I will reveal later. And you want your slices to be long like that so you get a nice even cut without a bunch of ridges on it. This taco is not raw. It was boiled at the uh, fishery when they caught it and then packaged and then frozen right away. How is that? That's delicious. Really? Like, it, it just looks like it doesn't have much of a taste. I guess it's an acquired taste. Ah. <laughs> I like it a lot. I put it in takoyaki. I do all kinds of things with it. Could you compare it to something? Squid. Okay, <laughs> can you compare? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, can you be any less helpful, Michael? Could, could, you, could you be more vague? Could you, can you can you give that one more try? Like, like what? Like, I, oh, geez, what would it be like? That's a really tough question because it's like saying, okay, to a blind guy, if you've never seen yellow, explain to me what yellow is. Oh, okay. Well, it's like a lemon, which is also never seen. Got our slices of taco, which we'll use later. Except for the fish cakes. There you go, that's what they look like on the inside. The pink stuff is ginger. You got some green onion in there and there's seasoning. It's delicious. No, I'm not a pro sushi guy. <laughs> I'm not claiming to be one. I just like to make my own sushi at home. I know that the pro sushi guys can evenly spread it very, very quickly. And they pull it from one side to the other. So sue me. If you do this at home, yeah, you guys can practice that until you're good at it too. I'm just satisfied with what I've got. <laughs> when you eat it, it'll taste the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now use that super high quality, like, uh, you cutting rice on it too. So this is like super duper awesome. There's nothing to complain about with this rice. Oh, it smells so good. I have to say it with the user in it. Sesame seeds. Flip it. There we go. Shiso, Japanese mint. There we go. Roll it. Make sure that you take this leading edge and you roll it under, otherwise it'll become like a like a teardrop shape and everyone's gonna regret it. <laughs> oh, okay, see? It's lovely. Can you squish? A little bit of tuna seepage. Never killed anybody. Juicy. Okay, apply your octopus. I'm gonna go Bob Ross on this. <laughs> Artiste. Okay, put that plastic wrap down on it. Wrap it up if you know what I'm saying. Put your makisu back on. See how lovely that is? Why are you uh, wiping it every time? So that it won't stick to the rice. you do then is just do that again. Push. There you go. Take these off. You got a nice little roll. It's all sliced up, right? Okay. There you go. So it doesn't stick to the thing. You can get rid of that one because it's not that pretty. Yeah, we're not done yet. These are from my garden. Look at that, isn't that lovely? 
It looks pretty damn good though. Sakurai Ebi. Isn't that color just nothing? It is. Some good contrast going on here. Okay, so that's one roll. You can see every pro out there going, look at the horrible way he's spreading the rice. <laughs> that's right. He triggered his Oh my gosh. <laughs> the sass. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> like regret. <laughs> <laughs> Daikon, which is a big Chinese radish, which looks like a big white carrot, and these are the babies. Tempura strips in there. Can you eat these? Uh, no? Okay. Uh, oh, mm. oh, okay. Mm. You can enjoy it for me. That is, that is exquisite. Honey stick, uh, artificial crab meat. Honey stick? Honey, honey is crab. Honey. There we go. See, that's all in there. Use the mayonnaise. And we'll roll it. Almost there, guys. Almost there. When are we going to get there, Dad? We'll get there when we get there. Right. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that looks pretty nice. Holy. Oh, just you wait. Avocado. Once it got into that state, we're just gonna knock it over like that. Like dominoes. Yeah. So you gotta make it look like a big old caterpillar. You see a caterpillar, eh? Well, what, what do you see? I see avocado. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Apricot. That's right, life has already done that. <laughs> Like so. There we go. Thanks again to Tori Territory Stew Foods. Then we're gonna put the spicy tuna on top. That is very uh, appeasing to my eyes. That makes me happy. There's nothing that makes me happier than doing this for my buns. Throw that onto there. Look at that, eh? Isn't that gorgeous? It looks beautiful. Sushi for my neighbors. Here you go. Oh, it's Wade. Here you go, Wade. Enjoy. Thank you guys so much. And the dog, too. Oh, Wade. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you guys are the best neighbors ever. It's got that peel away, look at that. Sheesh. Infornata olives from Italy. It's gotta be these. I tell you, I, it means uh, baked in an oven. These are salt cured and baked. And uh, let me show the Italian way of removing a pit, all right? There, that's how you get it. And it comes right out. Don't try to slice it or, you know, whatever. Trevor sliced open his hand on an olive. Doing, trying to do an olive last week. Oh, yeah, it was just like, dude. Ah. Uh, don't get injured, see, there you go. Roasted red pepper. Beautiful. Oh yeah, the STTs. <laughs> Wait on you. Yeah. The blue noise, which is a, a trick I got from my friend, uh, James Mackinson, go check out his channel. He's a chef extraordinaire. But you see how I got the white onion there? I used to think you had to do a brunoise like on a on the whole thing without taking it apart, but he says that you can just peel away a few chunks of it. Like so. For and you mash it down. Okay? I'm gonna choose my western my western uh, chef's knife for this because I want the, the sharp point of it for fine work. Okay. Thank you, James teaching me how to do this I would have just done it on the whole onion that's how I used to do it but it's easier James's way go check out his channel James Mackinson okay basically like fraying it yeah and then you cut it across and you get these little tiny oh dang right this is what's called a boignoise I did not see that coming y'all I've seen deer like that you're driving down the road and the same thing happens to them <laughs> <laughs> the ending is much worse though yeah venison 
<laughs> Yo, like what? What is that? Capers. They're they're a plant that are related to roses. Plant that's related yeah. to roses. See, and they pickle the the buds. Look at these things. Those are flowers. No, they're flower buds. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? See, I'm just gonna throw a couple in. They're quite briny. You don't wanna put too many in. Just oh, in time for Valentine's Day, we're eating roses, guys. A little bit of sesame oil, just to give it a little bit of aroma. You don't want to overpower the dish with it. Sichuan prickly oil. <laughs> or if you like Rick and Morty, it's Chezwan. Chezwan. Just a little bit. You don't want that one overpowered either. Black pepper. Oof. Yeah. Tapenade. 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 <laughs> oh gosh, what have I done? Kool-Aid, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, I couldn't drink Kool-Aid until I was like 15 because I was afraid some red dude was gonna bust in my wall. You almost said top of day, didn't you? <laughs> you are my brother. <laughs> We're just gonna mix that together. There's our relish. Maple cook, what are you doing? Well, I'm just cutting up some dill because I know you love it. Well, you and know it'll, what? It'll give, a, it. it'll give a flavor to the roll. Just look at that. How can, how can anyone not like dill? Like, look at that. That's beautiful. That's it, y'all. You can't sit now. Wait. If you can complain because, you know, you have this, even though you have this, there's something wrong with you. Damn, boy. That is thick. Mm-hmm. Right. A little bit of mayo on there. Okay. Y'all ain't ever seen nothing like this before. Oh, yeah. They don't do this in Louisiana. They probably, if they watch this in Louisiana, they're probably gonna like vomit. <laughs> what is it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing to our food? Yes, great accent. Great accent. That wasn't an accent. That was just me being an idiot. Sorry. Right. It's just like all the time, but yeah. All right. Cucumber. Which is one of Thunder Jack's favorite foods. Yeah, I dig, I dig some cucumbers. Big. Okay. Kaiware daikon for that fresh sparkle. A little, little bit of zing that the radish brings. Radish hey, children. Hey, that's almost like poetry. Radish, right. radish children. Yo. I'm a poet and I didn't even realize it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the judge of that. Fresh basil. Oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. So good. Yeah, Maple Cook's so really digging that. Good. Can't beat that fresh Damn. Goes together. I I, I just leaves. that should be enough. Right? Every time I make a soft taco, I break it and I'm I'm kind of worried that's gonna happen right now. Cause I always put too much stuff in it. And it looks pretty Oh it, hey, yeah, you gotta break things sometimes. Okay. okay. Next. Fresh mozzarella. Whoa, it feels amazing. Look at that. Wow. Like that. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. This is a lot of food, actually. I'm kind of worried. Am I going to be able to shut it? This is an experiment, folks. I've never made one of these before. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah. That this is the Thunder Roll. Open your mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Damn. I'm eat one, too. Mm. Certified. Mm. Oh, get it. Let's get it. Oh, wish me luck. <clears throat> Good luck there, Maple Cup. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm a little bit <laughs> worried too, to be honest. Can he do it? Look at that, eh? Woo! Wow. Woo! Red looks great on top of green. Wah! We can fix it. It's like the $6 million man. We can fix him. Damn. This is one of the craziest rolls I ever <laughs> seen. Dude, wait till you taste it. Making it rain. Making it rain. Lemon rain. Okay. Wow. All right. Here you go, my friend. Eat and enjoy. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. That's a yes. lot of food. Can he get it in? Can he get it in? Oh, we made it. Now, amazing, bro. <laughs> yes, Damn. yes. Yes, I did it! There you go! Popeye's chicken sushi! Oh yeah! Oh damn! No, oh, it's a mouthful, mm. isn't it? Mm. Wow! Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Ooh, all the things on the, it's Popeye's chicken, it's roasted bell pepper, it's, it's dill. Popeye's chicken. <laughs> There's not going to be anything left, that's all I <laughs> All right. <laughs>